Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending your your geographical location and your time zone. We are here again to discuss what is happening around the trading news and um, I hope that you are having a wonderful time wherever you are. I am so called the NYE, the son of the wonderful. So we are going to be discussing so many things, but before we do, remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Your comments are very valid in this uh, channel. Just avoid uh, month sliding or name calling. But just bring out that comment that will bring about good vibes. And we will, uh, we will continue. And what are we discussing about? So we are going to be talking about uh, the the return of the Igbos to develop their homeland. The return of the Igbos to develop their homeland. Why are we discussing this? I've uh, read some comments about um, some people talking about the Igbos are uh, basically returning now than ever to develop their homeland in spite of uh, the challenging insecurity in Nigeria generally and other economic uh, issues. That's why they are increased in demand for properties and uh, you know building activities in spite of harsh economy in Nigeria that Igbo land seems to be advancing and uh, increasing in in a lot of uh, investment constructions and a lot of things by individuals so and uh, that's why we are here to talk about, to discuss, and to have your own opinion about this and what is your own view on this. Because your view is very, very important. Your comments are very, very important. The Igbos over the years, just like the biblical Jews and the present day uh, Jews, in the Middle East has suffered annihilations, loss of problems, marginalizations, hatred without no reason or the other, without no reason at all. Jealousy and envy has become the order of the day. But this hatred was, you know, come to his uh, head on during the regime of General Muhammad Buhari, the man who openly shows his wickedness and his then to the Igbos in Nigeria by his body language and his actions and some of his species. So he introduced the, the insecurity issue in Anibo and inclu included the detention of uh, Mazin and the Kano without trial and all sorts of things. So, and this has been followed on by the present government who has in many of the occasions spoken against the Igbos without knowing that he is supposed to the, be the president of a nation. And you heard about also the 
comments by some of his uh, aides like Onaniga against the Igbos, which in the actual sense, those type of people should not even allow to come the co near the corridors of power of any any country that want to progress further. But these are these are things you see. You hear some people like uh, Reno Omokure, who has you know noticed that if you if you berate it or if you if you mess up with Ibos, you be uh, giving appointments and almost on the verge of uh, getting appointments because of that. So there are a lot of uh, genocidal threat, threat, threat against the Ibos. Recently, some uh, some Efulefus and some riffraffs in Lagos was telling the Ibos to pack and go from Lagos. So these are things you see that has contributed mainly to that. But you know, the Igbos are basically bigger than Nigeria. Why? Because of their resourcefulness. They spread all over the place, which, you know, people like that are egalitarian. And the record says, many people believed that this single tribe is actually one of the African finest in terms of uh, of changing Africa from this uh, where the imperialists and colonialists had left Africa. So they they also believed that it was uh, the key to the development of Nigeria. That somebody even asked, how would the Nigeria looked or be without the Igbos. They reckon that Nigeria will be like Niger Republic if Igbos are removed from inclusion. That's why somebody said if you go to any town, any city, any village, if you don't see the Igbos, that place is like a, a deserted place. It's like a desert. And that's true. So the Igbos are now not really announcing it, but in their body movement, 30 to 40 percent has started the, the push to bring about this uh, return. The return of their investment, the return of uh, a lot of things into the homeland. And this is now creating demands in key sectors of economy in the eastern Nigeria from even from Edo State down to Cross Rivers. Even in Benue, there are a lot of um, demand for properties and demand for land. A lot of things is going on and these are something that we've been calling for and many people have called for. Uh, Dim Ojuku talked about this in a long time ago before he died, urging the Igbos to look at developing the Igbo land. And recently, Chukuma, Charles Chukuma Surudo said that if you want to be respected in your area or anywhere you sojourn, you must have a beautiful homeland. And if you don't develop your homeland, people will be making a mockery of you. That's why some group of young Gibos and the passionate Gibos said, oh, we are going to make Onicha in Anambra State, a beauty to behold. And if you go to Onicha now, you can see the quantum development happening there. Onicha, Asaba, and many others. And if, if you go to Aba as well, with the coming up of uh, Alice Oti in Aba, Aba is beginning to take shape. So these are things that are happening. Many, many investment that in the in the long distance, you will not expect people building in in Anibo. It's not emerging. Mega plazas, mega industries, mega businesses, even investment on agricultural um, agriculture and others. Remember, before we are told that uh, oh, um, 
and the east is not meant for agriculture it's only in the north not anymore you saw the massive investment in agriculture in many places uh, one young man was building massive farm in uh, Osoka and in Anambra state a lot of greenhouses a lot of a lot of big projects are emerging so you saw what is happening in the Enugu state the Enugu state governor also trying to recreate the Enugu of the past you know after some prediction that Enugu will be um, forgotten because of the economic development of uh, um, Ebony and uh, Anambra states, particularly in the aviation sector. So, but um, things are happening. I, I bet you things are happening. Libos are, are building great things, even businesses, big, big uh, markets. Uh, you saw in, in uh, Rifite, the mega uh, project by the Alaba based uh, Igbos and businessmen there. They are trying to recreate Alaba also there. And many others. And new cities are being planned by the Anambra State Government led by Charles Chuku Masoludo. Although that he's been talking about a lot of big things to happen, but he's a bit slow in delivering quite a lot of them. But let's see if he will uh, hasten up. Because if he does hasten up, Hessing up in all these things, I think things will change for the better. So the Ibos are surely and truly returning home. They are returning to develop the homeland. Because the homeland is the best. Nothing is better than your homeland. You cannot abandon your homeland and be chasing shadows. Because abandoning your homeland is a disaster. Because supposing there is... Uh, a problem wherever you go so and it happened that you have nothing in your homeland what will happen to you is basically you will be having to be um, in a mess I could remember some years ago during the Abiola crisis some people because they have forgotten their homeland was stuck in in many places because they cannot go home because they have not uh, put anything on the table in their homeland they don't even have a stew or a table in their homeland. So that's what uh, we are talking about. Surely the Igbo, the great Igbo tribe is returning home and they are beginning to bring down development to the homeland. That's why you are hearing uh, Akuluno projects springing up here and there. Many of the villages are bringing um, community projects like roads, like industries, like schools, like hospitals they are bringing all those things just to help to improve an evil so i don't know what's your view on this do you think this is happening or it's just a mere uh, uh, statement or it's just uh, uh, something that uh, uh, you know it's not in that magnitude do you think it's happening so come to the comment section and uh, drop a comment and let us continue there Thank you very much for joining us. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I am Sir Cordelly NYE, the son of the wonderful. Have a wonderful time. Remember also we'll be having live these days. And I encourage you to join our live. And God bless you. I am Cordelly NYE, the son of wonderful. See you in the next one. Bye.